everyone, it's Pastor Leah and Pastor Jason here. How are you guys doing? Hope you guys are having a good day. Uh, today is day 17 uh, of our 30 days in the Word. And so we're going to start with Matthew 17. I'm going to read verses 1 to 3 and just talk a little about that. And then uh, Leah will jump in after that. Uh, verse 1 says, After six days, Jesus took with him Peter, James, and John, the brother of James, and led them up a high mountain by themselves. Verse 2 there he was transfigured before them. His face shone like the sun, and his clothes became as white as a light. Just then there appeared before them Moses and Elijah talking with Jesus. And then if you notice that it talks about uh, Peter, James, and John, and there's three people that, that are there. In verse 5, it actually says it talks about God was there as well, which we'll get to in a minute. But I found it interesting in Deuteronomy 19.15, in the Old Testament law, uh, there had to be three witnesses to attest to, to anything or any fact. Uh, in Deuteronomy 19.15, the second part of verse 15, it says, A matter must be established by the testimony of two or three witnesses. So we see three witnesses to the transfiguration in human form in Peter, James, and John. And then we see three heavenly witnesses, Moses, Elijah, and God. And the, and the other interesting piece is this is the second time people heard God's audible voice. The first time was when Jesus was baptized. And God says the exact uh, same thing, except this time he adds, listen to him. So it says, this is my son whom I love. With him, I am well pleased. Listen to him. And something that stood out to us both was the word transfiguration. You know, we hear, we've heard that word a lot. I remember as a kid, you know, people reading this and I'm like, what, what does that exactly mean? What is the definition of transfiguration? So we looked it up and in the Greek, it means metamorpho. And so metamorpho means to transform or to change, to change into another form. But the thing that really stood out to us was that it means to change the outside to match the inside, which is just so amazing of who Jesus is that this inward reality of him being the son of God was actually shown on the outside in this transfiguration and, and the disciples were able to see that to see the glory of Jesus and and just to behold that I mean what an amazing experience that must have been uh, for God to have displayed his glory and show them uh, what that was um, it also reminds me of just you know metamorpho metamorphosis you know, in science class, we will probably all remember of learning about, you know, the amphibians and them changing. But um, a definition of, of the metamorphosis is a process of transformation from an immature form to an adult form. So it kind of gives us insight as to us kind of being in this immature state here on earth. You know, we, we carry the glory of God, but we won't see it to its fullest until we're with him in eternal glory. And what an amazing hope that is for us here on earth. So. I'm a little even more immature than you. But. Anyway, we love you guys. Hope you enjoyed. Hope you enjoyed this, and uh, we'll we'll see you again soon.